Welcome to Amro Music. Today we're learning how to clean and maintain a clarinet. So before we get to the clarinet, let's take a look at the case. Let's make sure that we're opening it up the right way. A lot of cases will have the name brand on the front of the case or they will have latches. You want to make sure that the name on the case or those latches are both facing up. You can find everything I'm using today in the care kits sold at Amro Music. If you're just now opening the clarinet, you're probably going to need to put some cork grease on the corks. I generally just use my fingers, it, it seems to rub in a lot easier that way. Once all the corks are greased up, you can put the clarinet together. Make sure that you're not grabbing onto a place where you're going to bend a rod or do any damage to some key work. When you're putting together the upper and lower joints of the clarinet, make sure that you depress the bridge key and let it rest on top of the other part of the bridge key on the lower joint. When you're not playing the instrument, you wanna make sure that you take your reed off of your mouthpiece. The reed is a pretty fragile piece of cane, so if it gets dropped, or pushed up against something or, or the tip of it gets smashed, it's almost certainly going to chip. And if it chips, it's definitely not gonna be a good reed to play on anymore. The care kit comes with a reed guard. This is used to put your reed in while you're not playing the horn. Normally I recommend to step up to an actual reed case. These are not included in the care kit, but they're not much more expensive and they hold eight reeds. They also come with a humidity pack to make sure that your reeds are playing and stay fresh for as long as possible. Every time you're done playing your clarinet, you should use a pull through swab and get all the moisture out of the clarinet before you put it in the case. The pull through swab can just be pulled through each part of the body separately after it's taken apart. The care kit also comes with a polished cloth you can use for the nickel plated keys or the wood to get fingerprints and oils from your hands off of the instrument. If you have a nicer clarinet with silver plated keys, you'll have a different cloth to use for just the keys. Make sure to be really careful to not touch the pads with either of these polished cloths. You just wanna keep those pads as fresh as possible to make sure that they're sealing the clarinet and playing the notes that you're trying to play. On top of this regular maintenance that you do every time you play, I would recommend thoroughly washing your mouthpiece several times a week and using the mouthpiece brush that comes with the care kit, unscented antibacterial hand soap and hot water to scrub the mouthpiece really good. The last thing that comes in the care kit, but certainly not least, is a student practice record. Practice, practice, practice. So after you've used your pull through swab and you've cleaned the clarinet and it's time to put it back in the case, the bell, the barrel, and the mouthpiece all go in pretty easily in the hole in the shape of those pieces. For the lower joint of the clarinet, you want to make sure that the thumb rest that sticks out from the clarinet a little bit goes into the indention in the case meant for it. And on the upper joint, the pinky keys do the same. That's all for now. Have a musical day. Amro Music, since 1921.